I caught my girlfriend and roommate having sex in my apartment. Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, we've got a story from our slash relationship underscore advice where Op caught his girlfriend cheating on him with his roommate. Before we start, if you have any personal stories of how you got out of a toxic relationship with your cheating wife or girlfriend, that you want to share, feel free to email them to me. Let's get started. Story number one. This has been going on for a while. I've been dating her for over a year and I'll confess I'm not very good in bed but I try. I love her and I thought our relationship was great. Then last night, I saw her fucking my roommate my best friend who I thought I could count on. I'm socially awkward so I don't have that many other friends but I thought I didn't need any more so long as I had him. I saw them openly fucking each other in the living room. I couldn't help but stare in disbelief. Then I heard my roommate tell my girlfriend to keep it down so as not to wake me up. She responded by saying that I never heard them before so this has been going on a while. Now, as I said before, I'm not very good in the bedroom mainly cause of my small size. I've always been insecure about this. Seeing my girlfriend cheat on me has amplified this considerably. I don't know what to do. It won't be easy to find a new place to stay and get out of my lease. My family's abusive so they're not an option. My few other friends are closer to my roommate than me and I wouldn't call them confidants of mine. And I've emotionally invested a lot into my girlfriend. She was my first one. I can't pretend I didn't see what I saw. But I don't know how I can get out of my apartment. And if I do, I'm going to be all alone. I'm already dealing with pain from being betrayed by the two people I thought Elle could trust and from my insecurities. I'm terrified at the prospect of being completely alone as well. Update. First of all, thanks to everyone. While there were some rather unpleasant responses, like the guy who called me a pussy for being upset or the woman who messaged me to say that if I couldn't satisfy my girlfriend I should let better men do so because she deserved it, the overwhelming majority were kind and sympathetic. I couldn't respond to most because there were so many but I assure you, you are appreciated. I talked to my landlord who was sympathetic and offered me another apartment if I continued paying my lease. It's an informal arrangement where I'm still legally residing and paying for my old apartment but staying in another. As expected, my now former friends took my old roommate's side and I've cut them out of my life. I'm not doing the best I could be mentally. I'm all alone and dealing with personal insecurities, loneliness, and heartbreak. Still, at least I'm out of my earlier situation. I've taken a week off work and arranged to see a therapist. All in all, my situation isn't great but it's unlikely to get worse and I'm working on improving it. Edit, I've been completely overwhelmed by the response to this. I have hundreds of messages of support and lots of comments urging me to stay strong. There is no possible way I can respond to all of them so I just wanted to say thank you to everyone. You're all amazing. Now let's look at some comments. Jenny underscore fair wrote. Good for you for making the changes necessary to get yourself out of that situation and to remove the not good people from your life. This must be so hard but you're being stronger than you feel you are. Do not listen to trolls trying to upset you. They wouldn't listen to their advice if they were in your situation, so FCK them. Keep taking good care of yourself as you go through this pain. L Original Space Agent wrote. How much of a scumbag do you have to be to side with the friend who stole another friend's girlfriend? Even if they're close, that part just doesn't make sense. Do they not have a conscience or a sense of morality? Fuck those friends, you're better off without them. Snoo underscore 26884 wrote. If they cheat with you, they'll cheat on you. So rest assured they will end up betraying each other as well. People like that always get caught up in their BS. In the future, try to branch out more socially. I think you'll find you're not too awkward to make a lot of friends. That insecurity will melt away as you meet more people that enjoy your personality. Don't tie yourself to one friend too much. Christly wrote. I know you're probably feeling a lot of sorrow and anger but don't let it destroy you. Eventually, you'll look back on it and feel grateful that it happened. I went through a situation similar to that and couldn't be better today. Just face your problems head on and move past them. Consider yourself liberated from somebody who doesn't deserve you. Stay strong. Before we take a look at another story from our slash relationship underscore advice where Op found out that his girlfriend cheated on him and texted her friends gloating about it, take a moment to like the video to show your support to the channel. Don't forget to leave your own opinion on the story in the comments down below. Story number 2. So long story short I found texts on my girlfriend's, 19, phone tonight texting her friend things like he pounded my shit I got some of the best dick last night and ommed it was so good, I couldn't walk last night. I'm disgusted. It was her ex, whom I've always felt inferior to like she just hadn't gotten over him even after over a year. 
I'm distraught. I don't even have anyone else in my life RN. My two best friends cut me off over something stupid a few weeks ago, I just moved into university and I have only really clicked with one guy friend. My family and I don't even get along nor communicate much. I lost my confidant, my support system, and my best friend all in one night. She's sorry. I saw her crying when she didn't know I could see her and she was hitting the steering wheel over and over again. I feel bad but the lying and deception aren't new. I had to do it. I told her we're over, but she's welcome to try to win me back or whatever I don't care. But fuck this sucks. I have mental health issues and so my coping skills are practically nil and I just don't know how to cope with this. I can't eat. I can't sleep and I have class in the morning. I keep picturing the texts and visualizing him pounding her and I'm just disgusted. I'm just obsessing over it and it's 4am in the fucking morning. Part of me just wants to let it slide if she does show effort at getting me back. I know in a while I'll be okay but I just don't know how to get from part A to part B. Please help. Now let's look at some comments. The truth hurts one wrote. She's not sorry she cheated, she's sorry she got caught. If she were sorry she cheated the messages to her friend would be I fucked up and don't know what to do. I am so so sorry. I don't know what happened and not I got fucked by my ex and it was great. She showed no remorse until she got caught. Please don't let her walk all over you just because you are afraid of being alone. You are young you will find someone. Please use the mental health services available to you and I know it's old advice but go find some sort of group activity or sport you enjoy at your college. You will meet people with similar interests and new friendships will develop naturally. Op replied to you slash the truth hurts one and wrote. Thank you so so much. This was really good advice. I appreciate your response, made me smile. You slash the truth hurts one replied to op and wrote, I emphasize so much with you. I have severe problems with emotional regulation and when I was younger and lacked coping skills everything felt like the worst thing that ever happened to me. Because at that moment it truly was. But with some distance as hard as it was, the impact on my life was minimal. I also felt like everyone in uni made friends easier and quicker and better than me. And they probably did. But the few friends I did make are people who will be in my life forever and to me, that's much more valuable than just being around many acquaintances. Up again replied to you slash the truth hurts one and wrote. Damn, it's like you took the words straight out of my mouth. Thanks for being in the right place on Reddit at the right time. Corderon wrote. The only reason you should let her win you back is if you discover you enjoy the pain of finding out she cheated on you. Again. Walk away, man. Just walk away and find some help to get through this. Pontifex wrote. Today is going to suck man. Heartbreak sucks. There are going to be days where she's the first thing you think about when you wake up and when you cry yourself to sleep thinking about her at night. But then one day she won't be the first thing you think about in the morning, maybe she'll be the second. Maybe you'll make it through breakfast before you think about her and feel the ache of heartbreak all over again. And as the days go on, you'll think about her less and less. Today is going to suck man, but tomorrow will be better. You're going to get through this. Ditch that bitch and be strong. Message me if you need someone to chat with. I've been cheated on too. What do you think about all of this? Would the op from both the stories ever be able to heal from their significant other's infidelities? Let us know in the comments down below. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Hit the notification bell to make sure you never miss an upload.